we're still lighting things and got smoke going, we're going to drive the Fort Lee, New Jersey Fire Department crazy. Our next guest is a woman for all seasons. Literally, she has been called part performance artist, part witch by some people, part social director for Planet Earth. But she's best known as an urban shaman and celebration artist, keeping us in sync as the seasons change through the year. But how does she do what she does and what does she do? Let's talk now with Donna Hennis. Hi, Donna. Hi. As we get everything going in here, we're lighting it up again. You know, I was calling you a, a witch, some people call you. I don't know. That's right, not a... Right. a you can take it as a compliment on some level. Oh, I take it as a compliment, but I'm not. <laughs> that, but you have, that's, and I yes. call you a shaman, shaman, call it different yes, kind of ways. Yes. What is that, an urban shaman? Well, a shaman, shaman. Tr traditionally is uh, somebody in many cultures have traditions of people whose job it is is to secure a ceremonial order to mm -hmm. life, to existence. And that can be done in many different ways. Some shaman are physical healers, medicine women, medicine men. Mm -hmm. Some are emotional healers, very much like modern psychotherapists. Uh, some are storytellers, musicians, artists. Some are calendar keepers. Mm -hmm. Some are ritualists and ceremonialists. And I guess my specialty is all those last three. Uh -huh. I create ritual and ceremony for my community uh, having to do with the celestial order of the universe. The way the seasons yeah. change. Mm -hmm. Why is this important, Donna? Obviously, it's something that we don't pay as much attention. Well, we were just looking at the segment with Barbara. She right. was talking about sort of personal development rituals. We're talking now on a larger scope right. and a larger right. scale. Why right. does it matter? <clears throat> well, it matters because that's the way the world is. Whether we notice it, whether we like it, whether we even pay any attention to it, that's the way the world works. Now, I'm an urban shaman because I'm an urban person living mm -hmm. on the cusp of uh, the 21st century. And most people in the world now live in big, overcrowded, too dirty, too noisy mm -hmm. uh, cities. Mm -hmm. Very few people live in nature any longer. Yes. And the big problem with cities, one of the big problems with cities is it never gets dark anymore. It's true. Okay. I have been in the country with teenage kids, the biggest and baddest of inner city teenage kids who are terrified because they've never been in the dark. When it's really dark. Yes. It's pitch yes. dark. As we Whoa. Doing. It's dark so, out here. So, you, so they need that? They need to know a blanket well, sure. of darkness? Sure. Without the darkness, we don't see the stars. Mm -hmm. We forget that we ourselves are walking on a planet. I mean, you learn in fourth grade, I guess it's maybe fourth grade, that you know we're on a planet at this very moment. We're we're uh, rotating and revolving mm -hmm. at the very same moment. We're walking upside down and we're spinning through space all at the same time. This never enters our normal consciousness. No, it doesn't. You, that's you didn't true. think about that for years, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. But we are. Yeah. And I guess I feel that unless we realize that, and unless we somehow take responsibility for that fact, we're going to mess up. Our one and only We're home. We're already messing it That's up. That's right. Certainly that. That's right. So your objective then is to help save the planet. Yeah, absolutely. To certainly expand our own consciousness about yes. who we are yes. in this yes. environment. Yes. 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 And to that end, we talk about how how you do that, how you work in the world. That's we have right. a clip too. I okay. want to share with the audience about one of the seasonal right uh, exercises right. that you do. Now right. you'll explain this maybe as okay. we take a look at okay. it. Okay. It's gonna. Sure. Let's roll, okay, let's roll the videotape if we can. What you have to do is stand up 360 eggs. Of it's course. Spring. It's an ancient Chinese custom. I don't know who discovered it or how, that if you stand an egg up at the moment of the vernal equinox, which is the only time it's possible to stand an egg up, you'll have good luck for the whole rest of the year. I'm going to light 12 flares on the platform. That's for 12 months of the year. That will illuminate our basket of 360 eggs. Then there are 52 flares under all these day glow ribbons. We're going to walk around igniting 52 flares, one for every week in the year. And at 525, I'll stand my egg up. Everybody will be invited to stand an egg up. Wait a minute. you got to get in tune with the forces of the universe here. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to understand it. Okay. <laughs> The universe it supported worked. you. That's right. That. That's and we right. don't know why that is. We don't know why. I have talked to scientists of every persuasion, physicists, astronomers, geologists, and if they haven't actually seen this on television or in person, they mm -hmm. say, oh, that's ridiculous. That's not possible. I've never thought of and that. And then they call me up and say, that is great. I did that. And, <laughs> and I, it worked for yes, the vernal equinox. It that works. That one. Yes, and not yes. a hard-boiled egg. We're talking no, about a real one. No, not a real, real That's yes. right. So we're going to talk about like how to incorporate a few of these other rituals into our lives to enhance the life of our community. Now, what, did you bring some things for that, or these are pretty much other things you use? 
Well, I did. I brought some things to sort of re-emphasize uh, the, the idea of the urban necessity for being in touch with mm -hmm. the planet as a whole. So you see, we have lots of little little planets. <laughs> we can, here, planet hug her. I'll take it. Hug her. Well, she listen. Needs, see, we're needs. also busy doing so many other things yeah. and being concerned with other seemingly more pressing items. That's we right. always talk about this. How do you get your consciousness right. onto the planet That's right. being That's healthy? Right. You know, That's it's right. difficult. Can a ritual help you with that? Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. for example? Well, um, for example, well, we can do right now, we mm -hmm. can sort of Let's let's light Mother Earth. Let's first light her of up all. again. Let's Fort light Lee her Fire up. Department. Why? <laughs> well, this is just a candle. Shouldn't, yeah. make, too Shouldn't make too much difference. No. Okay, get her going. Now, Barbara was really good talking about ritual mm -hmm. and uh, and the wonderful healing things that ritual can do. Now, ritual not only can heal a person, as mm -hmm. as she showed us. I fervently believe, I fervently pray mm -hmm. that ritual can help us to help save the planet as well by remembering that we, uh, the planet is our mother. Native cultures all over the world call her Mother Earth. Yes. We still, the weathermen will still say, oh, Mother Nature is mad today, it's yeah. going to rain. We still talk about this great goddess who is the nurturing mother of uh -huh. the universe who sustains us all and we are all her children. So are you talking about Donna just like doing something like this something that is representative of right and then you sit and you talk to it do you? That's well why way. not? Well yeah. see the thing about ritual is that there are no rules mm -hmm. but everything counts okay. and and Barbara did mention intention I always like to say you have to have full intention and attention. Okay. A lot of times when we talk about ritual really we're talking about habit. Yes. You know, the, the famous one is everybody talks about the ritual of brushing their teeth. Sure. Nobody really brushes their teeth with full attention and full <laughs> No, that's right. You don't pay you attention know, to No. Uh -huh. The one day you get back from the dentist, you might look at yourself <laughs> in your eyes in the mirror and say, I'm really going to take but good care of myself. But with these things, you are really focusing. Yes. You are really, really okay, focusing. Okay, time. Yeah. And a centerpiece for a ritual, uh, if, if people want to have a ritual practice in their own home, I would suggest that a centerpiece is an altar. Mm -hmm. And many people have altars in their home without realizing it's an altar. Their For bookshelf, oh, okay. a dressing table, mm -hmm. uh, above the mantle, above the television, where people have pictures of their family, mm -hmm. of their ancestors, precious items, uh, lucky, lucky charms. Things that have significance from events in your life. Exactly. So all these things exactly. can be combined to make yes. the ritual yes. a, around yes. the planet Earth, really. Yes. Around so Mother Earth. I brought stuff mm -hmm. around planet Earth that all have to do with the earth. Here I have water mm -hmm. and this, these, Again, uh, these are blue. wonderful. These are blue balls. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were just talking about the power of cobalt. Blue. Yes, yeah. well these are fab. These I got in a uh, Puerto Rican botanica mm -hmm. but there are whole towns in Morocco that paint around all their windows and doors this color to keep the evil spirits out of their house. Is that what this is? Like a chalky? It's like of? a chalky. Uh -huh. You know what this is? This is bluing. Uh, okay. All the little blue flecks in your detergent. Yeah. It's oh, this. okay. This is what so it comes it's cleansing. From. Okay. Uh huh. Now Puerto Rican ladies put this in water. Uh huh. And put it under their bed, under their head, so that they clear their dreams. Interesting. Clear their heads. Hmm. Clear their dreams. So I like to put it in water here uh -huh. as a blessing to Mother Earth that may we all have clean water to drink in the future. And may our children have yeah. clear dreams, clear and, intentions. And clear visions, yes. Exactly. Does the exactly. Uh, feather mean anything in particular? We just have a couple of minutes. Oh, the feather was made for me actually by a, an apprentice of mine who is a Cherokee Indian. Mm -hmm. And what I will do is I will burn a little sage here and yeah. then we mm -hmm. use the feather uh no that's just it. oh see just let oh that's going like yeah. magic great great uh so the feather is is a director we use the feather to send out the like smoke, smoke signals into literally the world. Yeah. now i brought stuff that represent the four elements of the earth uh -huh. now the sage is very interesting because it's it's earth because it's a plant. <laughs> See, that's why I'm blowing really it away from you. I may have to sort of do a little something to snuff <laughs> okay, it out. For it's the, a little hot you know, to that, Yeah, this is just giving us an introduction, I hope, to some yes. of the kind. Oops, there goes that, Mother Earth. No, well, we'll get her, no, no, not no. for long. We'll catch not her up. For long. Donna, thank you. This yes. is a wonderful introduction, as we said. This is <laughs> Donna Hannah said we didn't get through it all, but there's a lot to do for yes, the earth. So yes, we'll have you come back. We'd love I hope that. so, yeah. We'll be back in just a moment to say goodbye. Thanks, Donna. Thank you.